What is up guys, it is the Gallant Gamer and today I'm bringing you a very special video. It is a FNAF 4 theory, handmade by me. Uh, I hope that no one puts this out there before I get to. Uh, I have a video rendering now or else I just mm, put it out there right now. But, what if, I mean we know that the animatronics, we think that they're going after the security guard, that they think killed them because of the minigame at the... Uh, Fred Bear's family diner and where the crying child got killed and then the save them help them minigame but what if the animatronics aren't going after the night guards but the bullies that became the night guards that is correct I think that the bullies went on to become the night guards and even more so than that I think that the main bully, the big brother of the little kid who was killed by being stuffed into that poor Golden Freddy animatronics mouth and being crushed to death, is his, is the phone guy. I think that his brother is the phone guy because his brother was wearing the Foxy mask. And we know that Foxy is the phone guy's favorite. He always was my favorite, he says. And he says, I don't really like the marionette. I don't really like that one. So, I'm thinking that his little brother became the marionette, the crying child that we all know and, well, I can't say we all love him because he kills us multiple times. But we're playing all this time as the bad guy. We were playing as the bullies who killed this poor innocent child who became the marionette and who went on to bring life to all these different animatronics. I haven't really figured out how this ties into the four children murders that we found out about in the first game, but I will keep working on that. I'm, I'm sure Matt Pat is going to say all this stuff in his Five Nights at Freddy's 4 final theory. I'm sure he is because he's an awesome, awesome theory maker and it's he's made a job out of it. So he's obviously good. But I believe that the DLC could be possibly us finding out those bullies' names like Mike Schmidt, Jeremy Fitzgerald, and the phone guy could possibly be... We could learn about, you know, just him, his family, what, what actually went on with him in his backstory. Because honestly, Phone Guy's backstory could be one of the most interesting because he's been with the company for a while, I guess. And at the time of the Bite of 87, and I don't, I'm not sure that this is the Bite of 87 that we're playing in the game. I honestly don't know. Because he said that the animatronics were allowed to move around until the Bite of 87, but Golden Freddy wasn't moving around. Like, he he wasn't. But, and, and not only that, but this child's head got completely crushed. It wasn't just his frontal lobe, right? And his brother, that would mean that his brother was still alive, and that would debunk my whole theory. But I don't think that this is the Bite of 87 that we're seeing. I think this is just a cool, cold-blooded accident that happened. See, this is why you don't bully kids. This has been a public speech announcement from the Gallant Gamer. <laughs> but if you like this theory, if you can agree that it's plausible, then give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you want to see more by me, click that subscribe button because I will be bringing you videos by daily. Yes, I didn't say daily this time. I do not make promises that I can't keep. I will be bringing you videos by daily. But even more so than that, guys. Be sure to stay gallant.